Hi guys, this is the RC Lander F16 build part 3. Um, I have put a lot of work into this jet now. As you can see all wires uh, are done. Trust tube, EDF unit. I modified the elevators. I don't have a reverse servo. This is why I <coughs> made the decision to do it this way. The ducting will be very smooth. I've glued on the vertical fin. All wires, receiver, the lander, lightning system. These uh, parts are to screw the, the retract bay on, so I can remove it if I have to repair something. So this is the retract bay I worked on. I made all cables come out here so when installed I don't have any wires in the ducting area I have to still work on the retracts they are again glued in an angel. The chat will not stand straight, but I will show that. I have glued the EDF cover. It's finished now. So, what's left? I have to install and set up all the wires and glue the bullet connectors and uh, not glue <laughs> and solder the bullet connectors on the battery I glued this part on with silicon so if I want to change the EDF unit I can use a sharp knife so nothing will be cut and I just remove it and open the screws and take the unit out and put a stronger one in. Yeah. So this is the top view. You can see I made my own rudder mod. So I use a connector for my helicopter and glue it in here. I like this way better than the original. 
Do you see the wires? There are the wires missing from the retract. They are here. They come out here. And it will be fun to install all the wires. So that will be a very funny part. So that's the back view. I think I aligned the wings and everything really good this time. So not too much work left. Glue on the nose and work on the cockpit and fix the wheels. Ah, what I forgot. I made my my own cheater holes here. was not easy because the foam is very thin and I had to glue, uh, to glue in some PVC so I uh, hope that works good we will see